Well, here we go. I have been uh, noticeably lapsed on my duties on my MG, and I am ready to start doing some uh, some welding. Um, I've been asking a lot of people advice on which welder should I use, which uh, uh, which one should I get. You guys had uh, more or less you know, said this one here. I've got some gas. I've got auto darkening. I've got welding gloves. I've got everything ready to go. I'll move that once I start. And I've got all the bits and things I've ground out of this poor thing up until now. Um, this is a very, very loose fit. Uh, I've got door over there, fender there, and front fender over here. And I'm about to uh, really tie it all down. I don't have a, what do you call it, a, uh, a, a, a welder that, uh, spot welder, there you go. So instead, I have drilled all of these, and I will weld those in. I've got every manner of clamp. I've got a grunge ton more over there ready to go. And so when I start uh, welding this, I'll go bit by bit by bit and move the, uh, the clamps down so that it doesn't uh, you know, bow out or it's tough to weld. Um, I have some painter's tape here. And when I take the uh, the inner sill down for the final fit and to drill its own holes, all the area behind that, I'm going to, uh, um, where is it, where's that damn can? I've got automotive primer, self-etching, and behind that is already a coat that you can't really see too well of weld-through primer. Um, so welding this on won't be tough, and I want a really good protective layer behind the inner sill uh, for when it's finally buttoned in and done and uh, welded up. Not too displeased. Um, this has been about a five day process making sure things fit. Hopefully I haven't screwed it up. The door closes correctly, and uh, yeah, I guess it'll be a matter of Hopefully, well, hopefully, it'll before I put anything on. I'm gonna damn well make sure that the uh, um, that the fenders and everything doesn't uh, you know make a, um, a huge gap. I have not taken the car off of the chassis, off the rails. Uh, I still have some work to do with fasteners that just will not come out. So I'll probably just cut those out and you know tap them out. I've actually destroyed two bolt removers or thread. I don't know what the hell they're called. You know when you Buck up a bolt and it stays in there. Um, on inside here, before I put the uh, put it all together, I had to buzz off one of the uh, the captive parts, put a new bolt on there, and uh, spot weld the uh, the thing back down. So my convertible top will go where it needs to go. Um, but here, I'm just going to probably cut them off with a sawzall or a very angle grinder and drill them out and call it a day. And um, I've got some thread keepers and thread restorers, so I may be able to reuse those threads that are there. So if that's the case, great. If not, then I'll cut the entire goddamn thing out and put four boards in later on. Um, I continue to see little bits of issues, and you know, nothing, nothing major. Um, some filling to do, some redoing to do, and on and on. So I'm not entirely I'm pissed off I haven't touched the thing since what Christmas or before that but yeah that's life